Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back at the tabletop with something super cool, new, and exciting. As always, I'm extremely stoked to bring it to you guys because I love this little thing. I think it's awesome. And as much as a novelty as you guys might think it is, it could actually prove pretty useful. And that is, per the title, the Bond Arms Rowdy. The newest addition, the Roughneck and the Rowdy to the Bond Arms lineup. Um, they're affordably priced. And they're just as good as all the other guns that they make. Made exactly the same, just not as fancy. And who needs fancy, right? So check it out, guys. This is the Bond Arms Rowdy, like I said, in 45 Colt and 410, shown before you. Two very formidable rounds, especially out of a pistol, a handgun. Something you could literally put in your pocket. Let's dive right into it, guys. Get this out of the way. And we will show you. Here's the box. From my understanding, this is a new, newer box that these are coming in, uh, different from the old style box. I never had a Bond Arms before, so I couldn't tell you what that looks like, but it's a nice little plastic hard case. It's got your little area for a lock, little snaps, opens up, and bam! There she is in all of her glory, all of her hand cannon pocket rocket glory. Let's uh, show you what's come with. Foam, foam padding, manual. You know, information, stuff like that. We'll get the box out of the way because that's boring. You guys don't want to see that. And let's talk about this. Ooh, yeah, let's talk about that. Mm -mm -mm. That's a pretty sight. I like that. Uh, so real quick, just some specs. Uh, you can easily find this on the internet or just pause or replay the video to get them. Uh, if you want to pick one of these up by the end of this video, the model number is B-A-R-W. And uh, you guys might want to pick one of these things up because if for nothing else, they're super cool, man. They really are. Uh, you can get them a little bit under $299. That's about MSRP. $269, $289 seems to be about the going price, uh, at least, you know, at the local gun shop. And uh, the caliber. Caliber is 45 Colt. Not long Colt. There's no such thing as a 45 long Colt. But there is a 45 Colt. Look at that. That is a behemoth. That is a big, bad mamma jamma. You get two of them or two of these. This is triple out buck uh, Winchester 410 gauge. Obviously, there's a wide variety of loadings for both 45 Colt and 410. Makes it extremely versatile, and uh, that's just awesome. So there's that. Barrel length on the Rowdy, it's a half an inch longer than the Roughneck variants. The Roughneck comes in 9, uh, 357, 38, 45 ACP, and maybe another caliber. But the, uh, the, the Rowdy is the 45, 410. That's all it comes in, and you get a 3-inch barrel instead of the 2.5 on the Roughneck. And that's to accommodate the 3-inch shells of the 410. So that's cool. It'll take them. It'll shoot them. It's a little bit of a bigger gun, too, with the 3-inch barrel, a little bit more weight to it, and uh, that's nice because these are no slouch as far as recoil, and it's a heavy gun, but it's a little gun. Uh, comes with simple rubber grips, but they are interchangeable for any of the other grips that Bond Arms offers or anyone else that has them aftermarket. Um, overall length, we got 5 inches, so a good size. Uh, weight is 20 ounces, so it's literally one ounce heavier than the new Walther PPK. So, and that's a, a, a full grip size, you know, for the most part, seven shot, 380. You got a two shot with a, with two fingers, basically, uh, two barrels and, uh, two pulls of the hammer, two pulls of the trigger for an ounce less. But that aside, you want that weight. And, uh, you know, you might not be able to carry that in pocket, uh, in your pocket in basketball shorts, but carry it anyway. It's awesome. <laughs> it's all stainless steel barrel and frame, which is a quality thing. You're not going to have to worry about rust and corrosion as much as if it were carbon steel. Uh, plus, uh, you can polish it. So one of the things about the Rowdy and the Roughneck that makes them so affordable is because they're not hand polished all over the entire gun like the regular you know models that they have like the snake slayer or uh you know some of their other variants they're not hand polished you see that the flats on the barrel are polished and uh, that looks really really nice it's a nice accent but everywhere else around it is matte 
you know, it's just like a bead blast finish where typically this would all be polished just like the flats. So that is done by hand and that takes time. And, and the time is paying somebody to sit there and do it. So, you know, I personally like the way that it looks with the rougher, you know, more matte finish and then the shinier accents on the slab side of the barrel. I think it looks good. And plus, I'm not, you know, too worried about it being all snazzy because this is, you know, it's a toy. It's fun. Uh, niche, you know, tool in the toolbox, as it were. But, uh, you know, for the money that you're saving, which is like two to four hundred bucks, depending on which model you would go with uh, that's hand polished to get the roughneck or the rowdy. You're saving a good amount of money, and it's still the exact same gun, the exact same quality. You can interchange the barrels to whatever caliber that they make. Uh, you're just not getting the hand polishing. Other than that, everything's exactly the same. Uh, speaking of that, some standard features are the cross bolt safety. Okay, you got a cross bolt safety, kind of like a shotgun or something like that. Um, pushing it to the right, where you see the red, red you're dead. That's for fire. Uh, here's your lever to open the barrels and then you've got a little extractor ejector kind of deal so the rounds would sit in there let's say for example this 410 and then to extract it you would push that out and then you can get it after the the shell uh, or the casing had expanded so that's cool um, you guys see you know it'll take it'll take 410 or uh, 45 Colt and then it extracts them both so that's super cool really versatile two awesome calibers um well i guess 410 is a gauge and then to close it you got to put that back to close it you just whip it back and then it's closed uh, it's a single action derringer style gun so you have to cock the hammer before each shot it is a rebounding hammer and uh you know so you got one and then two you can stage which barrel you want to shoot first by the transfer bar um you know, you can tell it's hard to explain through through the camera, especially since the lighting is terrible right now. But you can kind of select, you know, before you load it, which barrel you want to shoot first. I would advise having the bottom barrel shoot first because then if you do miss or you do need to take another shot, the sights are on top of the, the top barrel and it's going to be a little bit more precise, a little bit spot on as it were. And so if it really counts on that last one, I'd want the top barrel to be the last one shot. So... Real easy to check that it's clear, real easy to manipulate. There's very minimal controls on the gun. Uh, like I said, you got two shots of either any type of 410 that you want or 45 Colt. And 45 Colt, you can get super light cowboy loads all the way up to some Corbon or Underwood or Buffalo Bore style loads. And this thing will take it. This thing is rated to take the abuse of these heavy recoiling calibers because it's, it's all steel. It's steel through and through and stainless steel at that. I really like it a lot. Even though I got bigger hands, it's a smaller gun. It's got a good width. The grips, they stick out a little bit. The rubberized feeling gives you a little bit of cushion and uh, something a little bit thicker to hold on to. Giggity. And uh, it's just a good feeling gun. You can easily actuate it and fire it at will, one handed or two handed. You know, you could you get a little bit quicker with two hands. Nice undercut here. Get nice and high on the gun. Manage that recoil. The, uh, the only thing that's a little bit weird about shooting the gun is that the way that you grip it, it's a little bit higher up than the trigger. So you can see how my trigger finger is slanting downwards. So instead of like pressing straight back, it's almost like a downward pull. Um, these are not the easiest to shoot, especially in the heavier recoiling calibers. However, um, it's mechanically accurate. And if you do your part, it will definitely do its. Now, what would we use this for? What feasible, realistic reason would we use a gun like this for? Well, one, collection, fun on the range, just because we like it. That's all the explanation you ever need to give anybody about purchasing a gun. Secondly, you can definitely use it as a snake gun or a little rodent gun with the shot shell uh, capability, whether it's bird shot or, you know, maybe a little bit of a bigger shot self-defense anti-carjacking gun would be great you know you got your regular carry gun that you keep on you whatever um but you have this in the glove box of the car or maybe on you know concealed somewhere in your vehicle and you're at a red light somebody's trying to mess with you get in your car road rage incident you know uh like gun blast said you know you could hit them with this 
and uh, if they survive, they could learn to read Braille in prison. I thought that was hilarious when I first watched his video on it, and it's true. It's true, and the versatility of the loadings is is really, really cool. Uh, because you can do whatever you want, you know, as far as a light recoiling round to something smoking hot. Also, just like all the other Bond Arms Derringers, you could literally, with one screw, it's an Allen screw, take off this barrel and then swap it. So I could make this a 9mm, a 357, also shoot 38s out of it, a 45 ACP, a 44 Special, a 30 Carbine. I think they make 22. Uh, barrels and all types of different calibers. I believe there's 18 in total that you can get for this one gun. And all you got to do is buy the different barrel, whatever caliber you want. You don't have to keep buying different guns, different guns. You buy the one gun, whichever one you want, out of the gate, which in my opinion, the best way to start is 45, 410, because I think it's the most versatile. And then get all the other calibers that you want as you go. So you know, like I said, the grips, change them out, leave them, whatever. Barrel, change it out, leave it, whatever. Uh, they also offer a wide variety of like holsters and little pouches for extra rounds and stuff. Uh, they're just super cool, unique guns. They're extremely well made here in America, in Texas. And uh, I always wanted one. I always thought they were cool. I used to see the, the ads in the magazine where it's like the lady like shooting a bad guy who's opening her car door. You know, or the snake slayer is shooting a big, you know, python or something. But I, I just think they're awesome. I'm happy to have it. I shot it, uh, you know, as soon as I picked it up. And it was just bird shot through it just to, you know, see what it was all about. But it was fun. It was super cool. And you get a decent spread. You get a, you get a pretty wide spread out of a short barrel like this. You know, you got to figure that uh, the shell is, you know, you only got that much barrel. But it works, like I said, with the actual calibers like 45 it's mechanically accurate a little bit hard to shoot but if you do your part it will too and then up close and personal with uh some buckshot some birdshot or you know a slug you're going to get the job done in self-defense you know it makes a great backup gun a little hideout gun car gun you know something just to have you could even you know other than the weight with the different barrels and stuff, or, you know, depending on what caliber that you go with, like I said, 45, 410, I think is the most versatile, could make a decent little survival gun, you know, at least you got something up close and personal, yeah, it's only two shots, and everybody's raving about capacity these days, but if you make them count, uh, you got some good versatility, you got some good options, being armed in any capacity always gives you options, and I like that, so... That's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm super stoked on this thing, as I can, as, as I can tell, as you can tell. I've been rambling a little bit. Hopefully, you guys got the gist of it, and hopefully, you guys run out and pick one of these up, because I think they're awesome. They're finally very affordably priced, as opposed to the traditional five, six, seven hundred dollars that Bond is known for. Totally worth it. Well-made guns, but now everyone can get one, and I think that's awesome. So, please, guys, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out the links in the description box below. The first ones are always going to be to help promote and further the Second Amendment. I got ISRA if you're out of Illinois, Gun Owners uh, of America, and Firearm Policy Coalition. Click those links, join up, do your part. And then if you want to help support the channel so I could do more cool stuff like this, I got other affiliate codes and links and discount codes, my Patreon, all that good stuff. Check it out. Follow me on all my other social media, and until next time, guys, stay tuned. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video, and we'll catch you later, guys. Peace.